Okay, let's uh, enter the kitty premises and see if we can meet some new friends. Well, hello everybody. We're on camera, so we're going to say hi and introduce you one by one and see if we can uh, succeed in giving everybody just a little look at who each one of you guys are. So, as you may have read in their profile, uh, this is actually a litter of four that are uh, sort of blood relatives, so to speak, uh, from a very well-known feral cat uh, in our neighborhood that we've been feeding and kind of keeping an eye on and taking care of, and she did nurse them for, we think, about uh, three weeks or so um, <clears throat> before we brought them in and sort of took the process over. There is one additional uh, cat who's going to be this little guy that you'll see momentarily. Uh, that's Gray, a.k.a. Oscar. He's the one that sort of has the tiger stripes just laying on his back. He's actually a week or two older than the others, and he is from a different litter. And you can read his backstory um, on the profiles that we're going to post, but uh, he was found downtown, abandoned, and his origins are unknown, but he is very healthy. Um, absolutely wonderful, as you can read more about, and um, he's really integrated well with these guys. So, just to do a quick one by one, this right here is Little Lady Black, and you can see the relative size of the toilet. She's very small. She's probably about four to five weeks, and she's one of the litter of four. This gentleman right here is Whiteley Jr., aka Snowball. Say hello, Whiteley. Kind of hard to capture because they're moving around. This is Crook, who is a male. He gets his name Crook from the fact that you, oops, you may or may not be able to tell from this video, uh, but for reasons that aren't clear to us, uh, it looks like his tail got bent somewhere during that early nursing and kind of hiding outside phase. Um, there's no damage, there's no uh, you know, long-term problem pro prognosis. It's actually a very cool characteristic. He can move it around in some interesting ways, and he, as you'll read, is really, really, like all these guys, uh, one of our more ebullient and uh, incredibly cute, outgoing. All of them have slightly different personalities, but what they definitely have in common is that these are really, really well socialized. Uh, adorable guys. This is Chipmunk, aka Chica Monk, and it's a female. We know in her case, say hi sweetheart, we know in her case exactly who the father is because she is a dead ringer for a wonderful um, feral cat who's actually relatively tame at this point that I've also been feeding and taking care of. And you can't see it in this picture, but one of the very um, major sort of distinguishing characteristics that she has is the webbing in her paws is black. And it's really, really cool and really distinctive. Come on, sweetheart. Um, they're climbing all over me. But because her dad, who I know very well, uh, has the exact same unique and unusual feature, we know in that case exactly who the father is. So again, we have Little Lady Black. We have Crook. We have Whiteley. We have Chipmunk. And we have Little Gray, a.k.a. Oscar. So you can see more pictures and you can read a little bit more about their origins and personalities and what they're up to. Hey, little buddy. But we're a <laughs> sleepy guy. But we're uh, really, really <clears throat> pleased with this crop. Absolutely every one of them is so adorable and so outgoing. They're litter box trained at this point. Um, they're doing really well with their eating, they're fully socialized, uh, a few of them have been exposed to our, our dog, and we think they have good prospects for that. So with all that said, let's get another last shot here. Say goodbye for now guys, but you could very well be being watched by your future forever home. Okay, bye everyone out in TV land, more soon.